For 100 years, the 106th Rescue Wing has been paving the road of military aviation history. Home to the 102nd Rescue Squadron, the oldest flying squadron in the Air National Guard, these New York citizen guardians have been there from the beginnings of military aviation. Starting from the days of hot air balloons being used for reconnaissance, to the high-speed aircraft used today to provide worldwide rescue support. The 106th has been involved in a variety of missions. Relocating several times over the years, the unit has made their way around New York, from Camp Mineola and Mitchell Field on Long Island, to Miller Field on Staten Island, from Floyd Bennett Field in Brooklyn, to the current home of the 106th Rescue Wing, Francis S. Gabreski Airport in West Hampton Beach, named honoring the World War II flying ace and former base commander. The National Guard's first aviator, Beckwith Havens, hails from our lineage, as does Captain Raynal Cawthorn Bowling, who founded New York's first aero company. Tracing its roots to April of 1908, the unit has served as an observational squadron flying such aircraft as the Curtis JN-4 Jennies, then transitioning to a bombardment unit flying the B-26 and later the B-29 Superfortress. Continuing as an air defense fighter unit, entering the jet age with the F-94B Starfire, the F-86 Sabre Jet, and ending with the Convair F-102 Delta Dagger. The unit has also provided general transport and aeromedical evacuations using the C-119 Flying Boxcar as an airlift group. The unit even spent time as a refueling group, flying the converted Boeing C-97A Stratofreighter, then the KC-97 Stratotanker. The year 1975 would see a dramatic mission change for the 106th one that would have far-reaching impact and long-lasting significance for the unit, Long Island, and the nation. The 106th Aerospace Rescue and Recovery Group was the new name for these New York Guardsmen. Flying the winning team of the HC-130 Hercules and the HH-3 Jolly Green Giant, they are today designated as the 106th Rescue Wing and continue to fly the HC-130 Hercules but now fly the HH-60 Pavehawks. The aircraft and faces have changed over the years, but the commitment to their fellow citizens remains the same. Throughout the history of the 106th, members have distinguished themselves in both combat and peacetime. In 1991, pararescueman Tech Sergeant Arden Rick Smith gave the ultimate sacrifice so that others may live. When the helicopter he was on ditched into the seas during the perfect storm, as depicted in the book and film. Unit member Chief Dennis Richardson retired, was awarded the Air Force Cross for Combat Valor during his service in Vietnam while performing a rescue mission. The men and women of the 106th have a rich history of service, having saved over 600 lives to date. Whenever they were needed, they were there. They were there at Ground Zero, they were there following Hurricane Katrina and for numerous rescues along the eastern seaboard. They have traveled halfway around the world to Afghanistan, Iraq, and the Horn of Africa, to name a few. They have served in combat and in peacetime, at home and abroad. They continue to serve with dignity, distinction, and honor in these most turbulent times. Our worldwide mission, our outstanding people and our world-class equipment and facilities will continue to carve out the legacy of the 106th Rescue Wing as we follow our core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do.